In the 7th century, renowned Indian mathematician Brahma Gupta discovered a beautiful expression for the area of any quadrilateral in a circle. The square root of the product of half the perimeter of the quadrilateral minus each of its sides. But why does this work? Although the proof I'm about to show you is likely not how Brahma Gupta himself derived the formula, the proof is a great reminder of how powerful the law of cosines really is. First, we obviously split the quadrilateral into two triangles with a common side being the diagonal of the quadrilateral. We can express the area of the whole shape as the sum of the triangle's areas. Using the formula a times b times the sine of the angle between them over 2. Since the two opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary, the sine of the angles will be equivalent, leading to the result on screen. Now, we must connect the four sides of the quadrilateral using the extremely powerful law of cosines. By the formula, the diagonal squared is equal to the sum of the two other sides squared minus 2ab times the cosine of the angle between them. For the other triangle, the cosine of the angle will be the negative of the first angle, since again the opposite angles of a sigma quadrilateral are supplementary. Now we have this very nice relation. If we move this around a bit, square of both sides, we get this expression on screen. But why is this important? Because, going back to our area expression, squaring it, then using the Pythagorean identity to change the sine into a cosine, we find the exact same expression. From there, we can successfully substitute to remove the cosine and only have an area expression with the four sides remaining. From there is just a bit of algebra, mostly recognizing the difference of squares and perfect square binomials, to uncover Brahma Gupta's expression. Make sure to watch my full video where I describe the entirety of this derivation.